lengthy description about some of these cells that are here. Uh, you can read over that and I think it will help you a little bit. Uh, it's sometimes hard to find uh, the intercalated duct and I think I've got one that I can show you to give you an idea of what it is. Remember to keep your Keep your eye out or your mind set on the kind of cell that's found in the intercalated duct system. They're, they're either squamous cells or they are uh, low cuboidal cells. And if you have a longitudinal cut in some way that you can sort of see, then you can see how the duct system is sort of formed, okay? But let's just take a look now at the parotid gland, and you've seen a lot of this before in terms of the, the uh, the blood vessels that are there and the ducts are there. But let's just now look at the acinous group, the secretion uh, portion of this gland. All right. I'm, uh, this is no. This is now number uh, number two, and I have it on uh, 10x. And uh, you can see I'm just going to give you a couple of of this. Uh, there, there's a lot of connective tissue, and there are lobes that are found in here uh, around. Uh, some there are some fat cells that are going to be in here, but there'll be uh, connective tissue or septa, if you will, around these. You can see cross sections of, of the larger in, in, in intralocular ducts. This would be one that would be in here, and this would be one that would be in here, and this would be one that would be here and here. So these are intralobular ducts because they're within they're within this particular lobe. Okay, and uh, this is a connective tissue. The whole the whole. Um, uh, salivary gland has a connective tissue capsule around it uh, as well, but I'm not going to move it to that uh, right now, okay? Because I want to uh, leave it in this place so we can see some of the the uh, the the, the, the acinar cells and sort of how they look. All right. So what what we see here essentially now here's a little group that's together. Uh, there, this this would be a these would be located, and then usually you will see in a group like this a, a little central lumen, and uh, these are now cut at different times and, and I mean different ways. So you can't always see that, but these will be the pyramidal cells or the acinar cells, if you will. And probably this is one of the duct systems. So there's a group of cells here, there's a group here, there's a group here, a group here, a group here, and you can sort of see that. All right. <laughs> And uh, now here is now a, an intralobular duct that we can see. I'm going to go up in magnification a little bit, but you can begin to see, in fact, that there are some uh, uh, stratified cells. There's more than one layer, and that, so this would be uh, the beginning of an intralobular duct, uh, if you will. So we can see a little bit, a little bit thicker one. The reason I've kept it here is because of this right along where this uh, arrow is pointing. There is a uh, uh, intercalated duct system and uh, I'm going to go up one more in magnification so if we can get an idea of what it looks like uh, if you will and there for that now you should be able to see that in fact these uh, this is the, the the lumen of it along here and um, these cells now are flattened let me move it around just a tad so you can see it oops all right and then this is going to be uh, again, just because of the way it's the way it's set up, you can see now that that here's a cell that's part of it. This is now a squamous cell as part of it. This is a squamous cell as part of it. And you and then this is the lumen, if you will. So this is cut sort of, uh, and you can see it sort of comes around over on this side as well. So it it makes this this kind of twist and goes back up, and uh, and it comes down and around in here. So you can see that. You'll have to look for those kind of things, and they're not very, you know, you have to look for them for a while before you can come to see them. But I might be to be able to identify them on the basis of the cell type and probably uh, whether you have a lumen or not, all right? So this then is a, uh, this is a intercalated duct system, if you will. And remember now that the, there is no central acinar cells here. These are only intercalated cells. And we'll try to find now a nice striated duct. <coughs> 